Okay, so to create these two tabs, you're just following the measurements that are on the paper. These are 90, uh, 90 degree angles, so you don't even need to use a triangle because those are just straight lines. All right, so um, what you're going to do, you're going to first take this measurement here, the 11 sixteenths, okay? These are mirror images, so they're the same tabs, just flipped. You're gonna take the 11 sixteenths and you're gonna mark those off. So any number over 16 means that it's just that amount of dashes, okay? So I know that three quarters is 12 sixteenths, so I'm gonna go one less than three quarters. If I did not know that, I would just count out 11 of them. So I'm gonna do that for all of them. I'm gonna do that there. I'm gonna flip it and do it here. Okay, so now I have the 11 sixteenths. Now if I look at this measurement, it is three quarters. So I'm gonna go over three quarters, over three quarters, over three quarters, and over three quarters. Just marking that for now, because I wanna make sure my T-square is making perfectly horizontal lines. So now I have those measurements. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing, three quarters of an inch. Okay, now I am measuring uh, seven eighths. So I'm going down seven eighths, down seven eighths, up seven eighths, up seven eighths. Seven eighths, if you do not know what that what an eighth is, that's gonna be 14 little dashes. So now if your measurements were correct, this and this should both measure three and a half inches. So let's check that. Three and a half and three and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna take my T-square, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line. And another horizontal line. All right, so for this tab over here, you're starting out with five and one quarter as your height, and then it winds up being five inches. So you're going to minus an eighth of an inch. You're minusing an eighth of an inch off the top and an eighth of an inch off the bottom. So I'm taking my ruler. I'm measuring an eighth. And I'm measuring an eighth. Okay, now I'm taking that measurement, I'm matching it up at the corner and I'm drawing that line. And I'm doing the same thing here. Then I'm gonna erase this. For this tab down here, you are measuring over one and seven sixteenths after you take the three sixteenths off of each side. Okay, so I'm measuring one inch and seven sixteenths. I'm putting a mark. Then I'm measuring an inch, seven sixteenths, and I'm putting a mark, okay? Then what you're going to do from there, you're going to measure over three eighths on each side. One, two, three, put a mark. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, right here. Put a mark. Okay, and then your one inch is centered right here. That's this one inch tab here. You're going to measure up three sixteenths. Okay, that's just three dashes. One, two, three. Okay, and you are drawing this horizontal line. Okay, right centered like that. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to take, you could erase this and erase this so it doesn't confuse you, but that's where that one inch line belongs. Then you're going to take, square, okay? It doesn't go any higher than three eighths. So this is the three eighths, put a little guideline. Okay, and then you're just gonna freehand it. Okay, make sure that they match, make sure that the angle matches, and that is what your tab will look like down there.